everyone i hope you are safe and doing good so in the series of learning python programming language in the previous video we have seen operator overloading right now in this video we will see method overloading and method overriding because we have i have told you to implement polymorphism we have some ways like four ways first is duct typing in python operator overloading method overloading and method overriding so duct typing and operator overloading we have discussed now the two are remaining method overloading and method overriding these things we will discuss in this video right because it's very clear i mean it's very important to clear the difference between method overloading and method overriding that we will see with the help of example and practically i'll show you but before that i want to tell you something it is important especially for those who are preparing for gate 2024 exam an academy is conducting a gate ready combat on 24th of september at 11 am and the duration of this test is 45 minutes and uh, 20 number of questions you will get in this test right now why you should go for this test what are the advantages so the first one is which is very important the top 1000 rankers will get their gate 2024 registration fee sponsored by an academy so prepare well and try to be in top 1000 rankers if you want to get your fee refunded the registration fee refunded by an academy and you have a chance to win up to 100% scholarship plus many exciting rewards like macbook care laptop mobiles jpl speakers and much more now how you will enroll for this test the enrollment link you will find in the description box of this video so once you click on that enrollment link in the description box of this video this type of page will be opened and you can just click on enroll now so see get ready combat for csit then 24th of september all the detail you will get here 20 questions of general aptitude and engineering mathematics the syllabus and just click on enroll just you, you just have to enter your mobile number for entering mobile number just click on login and you will get an otp after that you have to enter some detail just enter your basic detail like name email address state of residence and continue now once again you have to after filling those details once again you have to click on enroll now the invite code invite code is you can use my code that is g r c m a okay and then click on enroll now and see you are being enrolled for this test so now you can take this test on the specified date and time okay all the relevant links and details the code the invite code everything you will get in the description box of this video you can go ahead and check out now let's see what are method overloading and method overriding i hope operator overloading is clear to you guys now first we will see method overloading now let me just first clear one point python doesn't support method overloading okay but yeah we can achieve this type of feature this type of method overloading feature with some other ways in python how that also i'll show you i'll show you but by default python doesn't support method overloading first let me just show you what is method overloading method overloading means we are defining multiple or many methods with same name but different argument in a same class okay because obviously we are discussing this thing under polymorphism and this is one of the pillar of oop object oriented programming and there everything we do or every program we write with the help of classes and objects right that is why in the context of that i am going to tell you this thing right so method overloading means defining many methods with same name but different parameters or different number of arguments within a same class what does that mean let me show you first let's just create a new file in this project polymorphism demo method overloading and overriding dot py okay first let's take a class and i'm taking simple class name like ab demo any class name you can take and in this class i'm defining a function the simplest example i'm taking add function right and i want to add like two numbers so what i will do just return a plus b that's it right and see if i class object of this demo object of this demo class if i create then have to call this method d dot add and what you need to pass two parameter like maybe two and three i'm going to pass 
okay so obviously it is returning something so you have to print whatever it will return the value of addition you have to print let's run this and it will show you five okay now overloading means we have within the same class we have many methods with same name so let's create one more method with same name add but different number of parameter now in the first we are having two parameter now i am passing three parameter suppose a comma b comma c these three numbers a b c so maybe you think we can just call this method also d dot uh, sorry uh, d dot add but this time i want to call this method so three parameter i will pass so one comma two comma three and yeah it is returning so you have to print the value now maybe you think this will return five and this will return six okay let's run this see now this time you are getting an error type error in this line line number seven where you are calling this thing missing one required positional argument c demo dot add missing one required positional argument c but using this add i assume that it will call this add because there are two argument and using this calling this add method this calling it will call this if it happens then this is method overloading because same method but different parameter and we are able to call but here in python we are not able to call this add method because python i have told you doesn't support method overloading okay you can define multiple method with same name and different parameter but out of all the definitions it will consider the latest definition of that function so it will discard this definition the python interpreter and it will just consider this definition of add now for python interpreter the definition of add is this so here you have to pass three parameter to call this one that is why in this line you are getting an error okay so this is the thing python doesn't support method method overloading but this feature or this kind of functionality this method overloading we can achieve with some different method one way is using default argument let's have let's define only one method a b and let's have one default argument c that is by default zero and it will return a b plus c right now see these two lines are as it is but you will not get any error this time see you will get five and six because we have used default argument if you are not passing third argument then by default it will take c as zero if you are passing the value of c then it will take the value of c whatever you will pass so this is same kind of functionality we are implementing that method overloading feature we are implementing with the help of default argument right because we are calling this add and add like there are two methods like there are two uh, you know definition of this add one is accepting two argument one is accepting three but actually there is only one second way is using args we can create this we can achieve you can you can say we can implement method overloading in python args means you can see these are variable length argument this thing we have discussed already right now what we can see like we have a variable total and for i in args because we don't know how many arguments we are going to pass while we are calling this function right so total is equal to total plus sorry i right and at last we'll simply either return sorry in the spelling mistake total like we can return this variable total right so this is also fine so this time let's suppose we are calling this add with six argument as well so three time we are calling this add every time the number of arguments are different okay but method is only add so let's run this see 
5, 6 and 94. It is working fine. Because using R's, it means <coughs> variable length argument. You can pass any number of argument. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As many arguments as you want. So this is also like same kind of functionality or you can say same kind of feature of method overloading. So this is how you can achieve method overloading in Python. I hope you got what is method overloading and how you can achieve in Python because Python doesn't support this thing. At last I'll tell you the difference proper difference between overloading and method overriding. But first let's clear this thing what is method overload uh, what is method overloading and now this is clear to you guys. Next what is method overriding okay now here see we have only one class within one class we are having different many methods with same name but with a different argument different number of argument different number of parameter right in method overriding there must be two classes so method overriding is used in implemented in inheritance one okay so we have a parent class in parent class we have a method the same method is in child class but child class defines the same method in its own way method name is same parameter number of parameters or you can say number of arguments are also same method name same number of arguments same in method overriding okay so how these methods are different because they differ in, in location. These methods are in different classes. One is in parent class, one is in child class. Okay, let's comment out these thing and okay, let's create a class. Like we have a class father. Okay, and father we have a function sleep. So like father for father sleeping time is or sleeps from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. and let's see we have one more me uh, method we can say like eat and just nothing it's less, uh, just eating we are printing just eating this is parent class and we have one more class that is son and the son I'm going to drive from father so now this father is parent class or base class or super class and the son is child class or we can say it's a subclass or we can say it's derived class okay now son is inheriting these two functions automatically because this is derived class right if you do not write anything here you just write pass here and with the help of object of son Suppose object of some I am uh, just creating Ram is equal to object of Sun class and with the help of Ram I am going to call sleep. So obviously we can call and it will print sleeps from 10 pm to 5 pm because the sleep and eat both the methods we can call with the help of child class object that is inheritance obviously you know this thing we have discussed this thing but now son wants to define i mean father sleeps at 10 pm but obviously we know nowadays children doesn't sleep at 10 pm uh, sleeping time for son is it's from 3 am or you can say 2 am to 10 am so son wants to define its own sleeping time sleeps from 2 am to 10 am so sun has its own definition of the sleep. This is method overriding. Method overriding. Right? Sun or the derived class has defined this method accordingly, according to itself. Right? Although method name and number of parameters same. Now this time if you will call this sleep, then using object of derived class, then sleeps from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. It will call its own sleep method now you want to inherit this sleep also then obviously one way we have we have this super function super dot sleep see super dot sleep it's from father class if you run this then it will print both as you can see here okay. but the thing i want to show is not super it's method 
overriding. So this is overriding. So what can be the main difference between uh, method overloading and method overriding? See, first of all, method overloading is compile time polymorphism. Method overriding is runtime polymor polymorphism. Why compile time polymorphism? Because at compile time only, with the help of number of argument you pass, the appropriate method to be called is decided at compile time only which method is to be called with the help of these number of parameter this is decided at compile time only that is why it is known as compile time polymorphism why method overriding is known as runtime polymorphism because see we know method name is same number of arguments number of parameters is also same so when you run at runtime only it decide with the help of mro like you are calling this with object of sun class so at sun class with the help of MRO method resolution order, we have sleep method, yes, so that is why it, will, it is called, uh, the sleep method would be called. If you don't have any sleep method here, then parent class sleep method would be called. So it is decided at runtime which method is to be called. So that is why overriding method overriding known as runtime polymorphism, okay. Second difference is what? Method overloading occurs within a same class. Within same class, we are having multiple method with the same name but different parameters right although in python we don't have this kind of thing because python doesn't support method overloading so we have only one method okay and method overriding occurs in two classes it will occur in inheritance okay that is must parent class and there should be a one parent class there should be a one parent class and one child class okay two difference Third is what, in method overloading, method must have same name but different number of parameters. In method overriding, methods must have same name and same number of parameter. They differ in location. One method is in parent class, one method is in child class, right? And last, you can say like uh, uh, Python doesn't support method overloading and in method overriding, yes, Python supports method overriding, okay? So how you can achieve method overloading if Python doesn't support this thing with the help of default argument or you can say there is args, these type of arguments, right? I hope you got the difference between these two and how practically we can achieve this thing. Uh, achieve polymorphism with the help of this overloading and overriding. So that's it for this video. Now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.